Hey YouTube, let's take a minute to talk about P. The one thing that North Americans are really good at is being chronically dehydrated. We don't drink enough water and we don't ever really monitor, monitor our urinary output. So let's talk about P. If your urine looks like this, it's clear, there's nothing to it, you can see straight through it, this is gonna tell you that you are hydrated enough and or possibly overhydrated. The reason for this is you're getting enough water into your system that your kidneys are get putting out a lot of water with a little bit of waste. It means you've got enough water in your system to uh, basically filter out all the crap that you're taking in. Anybody who tells you you can drink your pee when it's this color is retarded. Don't do that. That's awful for you. You're just putting waste products back into your system. Don't do that. The next color that you're going you're gonna to often see is what we call in the biz, clear amber. Now you'll notice that it is amber colored, shockingly enough with the title clear amber, but you can see through it, right? If I hold this up to the light, you can see, you know, me through it. You can see the painting in the background through it. Okay. What this means is that you're properly hydrated. This is not a problem. It means that your kidneys are still filtering out all the toxins in your system, but it's not so concentrated that you're in trouble yet. This tells you that you don't want to go any further dehydrated, but you might want to take, drink a couple more glasses of water. Yum. Third one we're going to look at is what we call dark amber. Okay. This is a little bit cloudier, but I'm trying to give you a point here. You can't quite see through it. Uh, it's a lot darker. I'm going to put these up side by side. Let me see my out. Hang on. Hands, hands, hands. One you can see through, one you can't, right? So dark amber is characteristic by its dark color and the inability to either, either see through it or very little light's gonna come through it. And what that means is that your kidneys are not filled, or correction, your concentration of nitrates and all waste products in your urine is gonna be super high. And this means that you're chronic, or that you are uh, dehydrated and you still need to start drinking more water fast, otherwise you're going to be in a world of hurt. So if your urine is this color, now it's time to start uh, going and getting a drink. You may find if you're like most people and you go on a 24-hour bender with booze, you go to sleep with your urine being completely clear and you wake up with it looking like this. If that's the case, start drinking now. And the fourth color of urine that I'm going to talk about right now is this color. Now if your urine looks like this, all right, dark red, can't see through it. That means you have blood in your urine. That's really bad. Like that's not a good thing at all. Um, so you need to go to the hospital now or you're gonna probably gonna die. There's really not much more to say on that. Um, yeah, don't let your urine get to this color or you're stupid. If your urine's this color, you're right, your kidneys are shutting down. You probably have acute kidney failure. Start drinking more water, go to the hospital immediately and you're probably gonna get hooked up to a nice IV and if you're in the States, Nice bill, and if you're in Canada, go free healthcare. We'll just, you know, get you better and send you outside the door. So how much liquid should you be drinking in a day? Well, unfortunately, that's individualistic. Notice I say liquid and not water. The reason is, is a lot of stuff like tea or juice or anything like that counts towards your fluid intake. All right, so it's not just water you have to be drinking. You can count those things as well. There are some products out there that are more water neutral, like say coffee. It's as much of a diuretic as it is a hydrator. So it's kind of a net neutral drink. Whereas if you take something like beer or hard liquor, well, that's a water negative. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dehydrate yourself. So your urine's gonna be nice and clear. And we all know, we've been there. We've all been there where you're peeing in the urinal and it's completely clear. And then you wake up in the morning and it looks like, you know, this guy here. So how much do you need? Like I said, individualistic. I myself drink about nine liters of water a day. That seems absolutely ridiculous to a lot of people. And it is, but that seems to be what my body needs to stay properly hydrated to get clear amber urine or almost clear urine. If I drink anything less than about eight, seven or eight liters, then I'm getting dark amber. So I got out my water intake. If you're like some people I know, you might only need two and a half, three liters a day and you're peeing clear. All depends on kidney function, body size, etc. So if you're worried about your liquid intake in the day, figure out how much water approx or liquid approximately it takes in a day to get that clear amber or that clear urine and then just drink that. Keep in mind stuff like energy drinks, like I drink every single day are going to affect your urine color. So it's very difficult to determine if you're adequately hydrated with all those food colorings in it. 
So you need to figure out how much water your body needs in a day before you start putting all those chemicals in. So maybe take a day or two to just figure that out and then go back to your regular schedule. That's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, post questions down below. If not, remember, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.